attitude because things have been pretty pretty grim in the last period. But we have to look at where we're heading. And I think it's very clear that uh, you know you combine the polarization, you combine the frustration with the economic situation, and you combine the fact that none of the political parties, neither the two big uh, capitalist parties or any of the smaller parties can offer a real uh, mass solution. And, and you have a very right recipe for more and more people becoming politicized and interested in doing something about it and learning about you know the ideas of socialism. Uh, you know, just compared to when we first launched our paper about 10 years ago, Socialist Appeal, uh, the, the number of people that are interested in politics now, the number of young people especially, that aren't just rebelling but want to read, they want to study, they want to learn history, they want to actually do something, is, uh, is really impressive. Now, like I said, people don't have many outlets to express their frustration. Uh, Occupy Wall Street, uh, after a very exciting beginning, uh, you know, that definitely started to ebb uh, after a while and then is, is kind of underground at the moment. Um, so people turn to electoral politics. But this year, it's a very different mood than it was in 2008. In 2008, a lot of people wanted to vote for Obama because he represented hope and change. Now people want to vote for Obama, some of them, a lot of people are going to abstain, they're going to stay home, they're very disappointed in what he hasn't done and what he has done, but those who will vote for him, it's going to be like a vote against Romney, you know? Uh, some people who voted for Obama might even vote for Romney because they don't see any other options and they, they, they want to give something else I to I feel sorry for them if they do. And so the, the fact is that, you know, a lot of people say, well, why, why won't you vote for Obama? And I explain, well, you know, why doesn't he earn my vote? Why doesn't he do X, Y, and Z? And then why did he do all these things that were against the workers? Why didn't he pass the Employee Free Choice Act? Why didn't he close Guantanamo? Why didn't he not only end the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, but he expanded it into uh, Pakistan? And so on. I mean, so you, you've got to, you got to, you know, you've got to, the facts speak for themselves, as it were. Uh, what has he done? He's given huge bailouts to the insurance companies, including the, to, to the medical industry, as we saw this uh, last week. Um, he's approved free trade agreements with different countries like South Korea and Panama and, uh, and uh, Colombia. And in that struggle I mentioned in Longview, Washington with the dock workers, he militarized, uh, he, he was going to send the Coast Guard in to escort scab ships uh, to, to, to support uh, scab, uh, scab uh, voters at the, at, the, at the grain terminal there. Um, so it's very clear, I think, whose side he's on. But what are we supposed to do? Who's, you know, uh, who are we supposed to vote for? Now I would argue, I'm going to make a prediction here about, here about the elections. And, uh, uh, and uh, that prediction is basically that we know who the loser is going to be. The loser is going to be us, the majority. We are the losers in this election. No matter which party wins, uh, Wall Street, big business, the capitalists are going to be the ones calling the shots. And it's, it's, you know, I think it's high time that workers and young people that we actually start building a different alternative. I mean, if you look at the, at the tremendous power that I mentioned the unions have when it comes to the workplace, uh, it's clear that that, tr that tremendous power could also be transferred to the political arena. And uh, I'd like to. I'll hand it back over to the chair and, and, and let our, our next speaker speak about what I think the way forward in this country is, and that's uh, a labor party based on the unions. And I would argue that that labor party needs to have socialist policies, fight for socialist policies, uh, and that's the way forward in this country. Let's give me a